كامل او فورس بوكس كامل سباين او ذا سكابيلا هاز نو اكروميون ان كيس اوف هورس ذا اكروميون از ابسنت ان كيس اوف اوكس ذا اكروميون از بلانت شورت داز نوت ريتش تو ذا ليفل اوف ذا جلينويد كافيتي اند ترانكيتد اور اندس ابرابتلي ان كيس اوف كامل The scapular spine has a chromium which is beak-like and reaches to the level of the glenoid cavity. The spine itself, in case of horse, has rough area, the tuber spinae or tubercle of the spine, which is well prominent in case of horse, less prominent in case of ox, and is absent in case of the camel. The spine of the ox is sinuous while in the camel is straight. The ratio between sobra and the infraspinous fossae is 1 to 2 in case of horse. In case of ox, the sobraspinous fossa and the infraspinous fossa is 1 to 3. In case of camel, is 4 to 5. The ratio is 4 to 5 in case of the camel. The glenoid cavity, in case of the horse, has a glenoid notch. The glenoid cavity has a glenoid notch. And the tuber scapulae, or the supraglenoid tubercle, is separated from the glenoid cavity. There is a distance between the tuber scapulae and the supraglenoid, uh, or the supraglenoid tubercle and the glenoid cavity. While in the ox, the tuber scapulae is close to the glenoid cavity and the glenoid notch is absent. The glenoid cavity in the camel is circular with faint glenoid notch and the tuber uh, scapulae is separated from the glenoid cavity. On the medial or costal surface, we have the subscapular fossa which is deep in case of horse and the faces serrata are clear in case of the horse for the attachment of serratus ventralis muscle in the ox the subscapular fossa is shallow and the faces serrata is not clear compared to the horse in the camel the subscapular fossa is very shallow and we have vertical muscular lines vertical muscular lines and the face serrata is not clear. <laughs>